Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are okay and doing well. Well guys, in today's video we are going to do a in-depth analysis of this new dinosaur survival game just came out five days ago called the Isle of Yore. I already have done a video about that but that was a non-commentary video so you didn't actually hear me saying anything about the game. It was just, it was just a gameplay to show you what the game actually looks like and how the environment looks like but to, in today's video I will do in-depth analysis of the game and in the end of the video I will let you know whether you should buy this game whether you should wait for this game to be updated further on and what needs to be changed in the game and also whether this game is a direct competitor to the already um, out um, dinosaur survival games such as an eye or piece of Bermuda part of Titans um, and others I can't really name all of them because there's loads of them but these are the three main ones that have been really popular among the fan base although this game like I said just came out recently so it doesn't have a big fan base at the moment and unfortunately you can only play as two dinosaurs at the moment one is a seal of vices as you can see on your screen and the other one I'll show you is Deinonychus, which is an experimental. So there are bugs to be expected. Obviously this game is on early access as well. So don't just moan about whether this game is good or not. Because like I said, it's an early access game. So you can expect bugs, glitches, um, things not spawning into the right places. But I'm sure if the devs are watching, and hopefully in the future they will add some more species for us to try like the likes of um, Spinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex and some others however let me tell you that all over this island there are AIs that are available but you can't play them so basically they're AIs so the bigger one you don't want to mess with especially with the Spinosaurus because I already have a first-hand experience trying to bite the Spinosaurus which you can see in the previous video that didn't turn out well all right guys without further ado let's just actually begin the gameplay and if you are new to my channel make sure to sub to my channel press the bell icon and don't forget to leave a like okay first we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the Silophysis I'm gonna try to get a better skin um that looks relatively okay let's make it a bit darker so it looks a bit more appealing hmm that looks a bit ferocious what do you guys think all right let's try silophysis and bear in mind guys i'm playing in 4k resolution so if my gameplay is a little bit laggy it's because I'm recording as well but other than that it's quite straightforward to be honest The environment so far is really promising looking. I mean, this is obviously a tropical jungle kind of environment and it's looking good. I don't know about this um, area that where I'm walking, which is quite empty, but let's go into the foliage. And if you press we it actually tells you where the food and the water is but and um, at this point we can't do that let's see if we can drink of water oh it says grab grab what ah you can actually grab stuff i do not know but that's rather big, so we're going to drop it. So that means if it's like a small prey or something, we can basically grab it with our mouth. What's that in the water? Is that flama? 
I'm not sure about the water, guys. The water doesn't look that realistic, to be honest. But like I said, it's an early access game, so... Hopefully these things get fixed over time. Let's see if we can find other players. The textures don't look too bad at all. And the model itself... It's okay. I'm not really a big fan of it to be honest. Let's see if I can jump on the rock. Another good thing that I find really interesting about this game, you have a different seasons. So you have rain, you have um, drought, you have um, snowstorm as well. So when you go to the side where it's um, snowy mountain, there would be um, snowfall that you should see. As soon as you get on t uh, onto it, you can start to see the storm. So that is quite different from the other games that I have played before. So that's something new I've seen. Particularly in this game. I'm not exactly sure if this game has a flood system like the Piece of Bermuda does. Where it just flooded the whole place and you have to sort of like escape or try to get into the cave to save yourself. Let's see if I can smell anything. Okay. So basically this orange that you see on your screen, guys. This is the indicator that the food is nearby. So you have to follow the trail all the way where the food is. That's almost like a scent, basically. So you follow it and where it ends, that's where the food is. And the server I'm playing is supposed to have a highest AI, so the AI should be around here somewhere, if you're lucky enough to find it. The whole island in this game is a massive, it's a very big place and it will take a long time for everyone to explore. So running into the people could be your lucky guess, since the place is quite big. And the blue that you see, that's where the water is, so as we are approaching the water, it will show you blue, that the water is nearby, but also there is a food source which is nearby as well. At the moment we are fine with water, we don't need to drink. 
There is a water available. Which we probably need. What's this in the water? What dinosaur is this? Better not get too close, I guess. What dinosaur is it? Like that's a Rex. Or I could be wrong. I probably have to go a little bit too close to it to see what dinosaur it is. But let me just get my belly full with the water and then we go and investigate. It looks very much like a Rex. Where'd it go? Hmm, that's interesting. I can hear the footsteps. So I know it's nearby. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> the Rex killed me. No. Well, guys, that is it for today. And this is obviously going to be a part one. So wait for part two where I will give you the deep analysis. Whether you should buy this game or not. Or whether this game is a direct competitor to the other dinosaur survival game. So I hope this video would help you to determine a little bit whether you should buy it or not. But wait for part two. And like I said, I will do a deep analysis. Till then, take care, guys. And don't forget to leave a like, sub to my channel, and also press the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye for now.